Welcome to this video on why reinforcement is a must for concrete structures. Concrete is a versatile and widely used construction material, but it does have its limitations. In this video, we'll be exploring the role of reinforcement in concrete and why it is essential for ensuring the strength and durability of concrete structures. First, let's take a closer look at the mechanics of materials and how they apply to concrete. When a structure is subjected to stress, whether it be from loads or environmental conditions, the material is made of will experience internal forces. These forces can be classified as compression, tension or shear. Concrete is a very strong material in compression, but it is quite weak in tension. This means that without reinforcement, concrete structures are prone to failure when subjected to tensile stress. Think about it like this. If you were to take a concrete beam and apply a load to it, the top of the beam would experience compressive stress, while the bottom of the beam would experience tensile stress. Without reinforcement, the tensile stress on the bottom of the beam would be too great and the beam would fail. This is known as brittle failure, and it can happen without warning, leading to catastrophic consequences. This is where reinforcement comes in. By adding reinforcement to concrete, you create a composite material with the concrete providing strength against compressive stress and the reinforcement providing strength against tensile stress. The most common type of reinforcement used in concrete is deformed steel, also known as reba. When added to concrete, steel reinforcement increases the tensile strength of the structure allowing it to withstand greater loads and forces. But the benefits of reinforcement don't stop there. Not only does it increase the strength of concrete structures, but it also changes the mode of failure from brittle to ductile. This means that instead of collapsing suddenly, a reinforced concrete structure will show signs of cracking and deformation before it fails, giving you a chance to identify and address any potential issues before they become serious problems. This can be a lifesaver literally, as it allows you to identify and fix any potential issues before they lead to a catastrophic failure. So, why is reinforcement a must for concrete structures? Simply put, it helps to overcome the material's weakness in tension and provides a more durable, long-lasting structure. Without reinforcement, concrete structures are prone to brittle failure and may not be able to withstand the stresses they are subjected to. By reinforcing your concrete structures, you can ensure that they are able to withstand the loads and environmental conditions they will be subjected to, and you can also protect against brittle failure. There are a few different types of reinforcement that can be used in concrete, and the type you choose will depend on the specific requirements of your project. Some common types of reinforcement include reba, wire mesh, and fibers. Each type of reinforcement has its own unique benefits and drawbacks, and it's important to choose the right one for your project. In conclusion, reinforcement is a must for concrete structures because it helps to overcome the material's weakness in tension and provides a more durable, long-lasting structure. Without reinforcement, concrete structures are prone to brittle failure and may not be able to withstand the stresses they are subjected to. By reinforcing your concrete structures, you can ensure that they are able to withstand the loads and environmental conditions they will be subjected to, and you can also protect against brittle failure. I hope this video has helped to shed some light on the importance of reinforcement in concrete structures. Thank you for watching.